Welcome back to the Detailing Business Channel. Today is part three of the perfect detailing rig build. Today we're going to be working on plumbing and electrical, getting it all wired up and plumbed so that it's totally self-contained. If you missed part one and two, the links are in the descriptions to start from part one. In part two, we ended on building the framework and off camera, I ended up painting the framework. I actually used Rhino lining, the roll on bed liner stuff. And this stuff is waterproof and strong as can be. So I think it was a pretty good choice over just paint. Thank you. 
Okay, let's try to make sense of all this. So, here's how I got it going. 12 volts out. One goes directly to the motor, which was the black wire. From there, it splits off and goes to the switch, running the black wire back to the motor. So now when I fire the generator up, it's getting 12 volts to the switch. When I flip the switch on, uh, the motor kicks on. This switch is for the pump. This switch will be for the pressure washer, which I don't have hooked up yet. But uh, let me turn the generator on. So the plumbing, I don't want to reach up under here and undo that latch every time I want to fill the tank. I want to keep that closed at all time. So how do we fill the tank? Well, I put this in here. This will fill, this will be the fill. Runs over to here. Here's a valve for when I'm not using it so the water doesn't run out then here's where it gets complicated I could simply go directly into the tank well I, simply what I could do is run from the tank up to the pump out to the pressure washer but I want to do this I want more than just that if I'm out of water in the tank, I want to be able to take my hose, my hose, and run it into the customer's water. So I can, if I'm running low, I can either fill the tank or I could just run steady water hooked up to the city or whatever the whole time. Bypass the whole pump because it's pressurized water, it's coming from their home. So here's kind of a pump bypass situation here. I'll temporarily plug my pressure washer in here. This is going to get hardwired in there. Generator's on. Should have power to the pressure washer. All right, so there's that. Now all I got to do is turn my pump on. That'll start pushing water. There. And we got a leak. Okay, leak's fixed. I guess I should have tightened that. <laughs> anyway, pump is on. Pressure washer's on, totally self-contained from the water. I should uh, have pressure here. There we go. Another situation I had to account for was, how do I fill my extractor with the water in that tank? That's why I put this here. It's on a valve. I can actually hook a garden hose up to this and just have low pressure water.
All right, it's pretty well done. I've just got to find some tubs that I'm going to put up here to hold my towels and tools. Cross our fingers and hope there's no leaks ever. What should happen is I'm going to fire the generator up. It's going to power, bring the power up to everything. The power washer will be powered. The extension cord will be powered. And the pump also. So fire it up and spray water. All right, here's the finished product. I've got a few more things to do. I still need to get some tubs for my tools and towels. But uh, this is basically how it's gonna be. All my chemicals are right here um, within reach. I have a whole assortment of products that uh, I use often so that I can refill these bottles whenever I need to. Extractors right here. I've got an output water output so I can uh, fill the extractor or run a hose if I need low pressure water. Pressure washer hose reel here, uh, a bucket for my optimum no rinse, electric extension reel, gas for the generator, got the vacuum here, the generator. I did some modifications to the plumbing. Everything is crimp fitted so there's no leaks. So that's it, a few more things. Uh, the tubs, of course, for my tools and towels. I may put a drawer here. I'd kind of like to have a drawer here um, to put all my tools in. So I may do that in the future. When I get the tubs, I'll frame out where they go. I'll frame out for my steamers gonna go over there. So that's it, a few more tweaks and uh, it'll be ready to roll.
I hope you enjoyed this series and we'll see you next time on the Detailing Business Channel.